the new music here series, Instrument Interviews. Today we have a super duper special guest. What's your name and which instrument do you play? My name is Yumi Huang Williams. I'm the concert master of the Colorado Symphony and I play the violin. Why did you actually choose that specific instrument? Well, I didn't really choose the violin. Um, I guess in a way it was chosen for me. Um, I was entering fifth grade in Philadelphia and my mother knew the violin teacher there. And next thing I knew, I just had a violin show up. <laughs> When and why did you start playing? Like what range does it have? What kind of sounds? Well, I love the violin because it can do so many things. Um, first of all, it can sing. Like the human voice. And when I was younger, before I started the violin, I would sing a lot. And so the voice was very um, dear to me. Um, but it can also do many things like play more than one note. I can play two notes. I can play three notes. I can play four notes. I can slide. Um, there's so many things. I can pizzicato. I can do a Bartok pitz, which means that you slam the string back onto the fingerboard. It makes this twang sound. Do you yes. like that? I don't really like it because it, I think you get a ugly. Yeah, and we can make ugly sounds, um, and lots, lots of times composers ask us to make ugly sounds too. So here's a ponticello when we play right on the bridge and go. Make scratchy sounds. But we spend a long time trying to make a beautiful sound. And let's see, what else can I do? Oh, I'll just show you that I have the lowest note, which is a G. Can you show that on the piano? Yeah, sure. It's right here. G below middle C. Middle C is right here. G is here. And then, where do you think my highest note is? <laughs> I'm glad I think okay, I'm going well, to Okay, well, you that might class. want to plug your ears, okay? Headphone users. That's um, a high C. I'm okay. sorry, headphone users, if you heard that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the high C is the very last note on the piano here. And at the very bottom of the piano, it's a lot lower, so don't get that confused. <laughs> yeah, and um, just before we leave, I do want to play my favorite little thing, which is that we can do pizzicatos on the left hand as well. And here's an excerpt from Paganini Caprice number 24. That sounded really nice. Can you play like a really short piece for us? Oh, let's see. Um, well, I could just continue with the, the pretty melody. Mm -hmm. The okay. meditation from Thais. What would you like to share with other children who might be interested in learning to play an instrument? Yes, um, so if you're starting out and you want to get good at your instrument, you really have to practice. Practice. Yes, practice makes perfect. Um, and it's not just mindless practicing, it's really concentrated, focused practicing so that you do 
something right and then you repeat it. So it's really important, okay? And um, I would say just listen to your teachers and practice. So that's it for our instrument interview, episode one. Hope you have a nice day. Bye! Thank you.